There are no limits, I think, to what we can do and what our dreams should be. You know, as little girls, sometimes we have dreams, but we don't really expect they're going to come true. We should expect it. The world is changing. The future is awesome. Um, and the future is now. Valerie Camillo has spent the last three years putting her stamp on the Wells Fargo Center, home of the Philadelphia Flyers, and as the first woman hired to be president of an NHL franchise. I was just reading about this. A third of your employees are women. 50% of your senior executive team is female. Why is it important to you to have other women in these top positions? The power resides in the executive level and the culture is set at the executive level. And so having women there, it's a totally different game. You know, I've read so many articles where you hear people assume that if a woman is in a top uh, position in a male dominated field, that they almost have to try to fit in. You know, I think early in my career, that was definitely how I felt, like almost like you've got to be part of the boys club. I was on a panel with Billie Jean King, and in the way that only Billie Jean can, she was like super encouraging, but gave me a great note. She said, you have to remember that you have power and not a lot of women do, and you're in this male dominated field in a unique role, and you should think big, think really big. But that was really the tipping point for me where I said, I'm not just gonna be good at my job because I was confident I could be that. I'm gonna be myself too. But being the first female executive on the ice didn't come without its challenges. So tell me about the first time you took your annual photo uh, with, with the hockey team. You were the only woman in the picture. I was very excited. I'm like, I'm gonna be authentic. I'm gonna have my best outfit, I'm gonna, you know, wear my, my favorite shoes, which happen to have quite a high heel. <laughs> One might call them stilettos. So I come down to the ice and didn't have the carpet down. No. And my first thought was, I'm going to die in the first team picture <laughs> that ever. I'm gonna like wipe out in front of everyone and embarrass myself. And um, the, the president of hockey operations at that time, Paul Holmgren, saw my dilemma and total gentleman jumped up came over to me, offered his arm, uh, escorted me to, to my seat. They offered their arm to me, uh, literally and figuratively. A furry orange arm was offered to Camillo as well. She was quickly welcomed by one of Philadelphia's favorite characters. Greedy is our, our mascot. He transcends being a mascot. He's become, I think, somewhat of a symbol for Philadelphia, which is a great thing for us, a great honor. Gritty is a whole mood, as the kids say. <laughs> he is, he is. <laughs> Thank you, Gritty. I'll wear this with pride. <laughs> What's it like working with her? How's Valerie? Is she pretty cool? <laughs> I do sign his checks, though, so he's under some duress. <laughs> oh, Fans will notice some changes at the arena. Camillo spearheaded a $300 million renovation featuring a completely redone club level with cheaper tickets to attract younger fans, a disassembly room where fans can break things, and even a sensory room for families with special needs. So how does it feel to be able to sit here across from me and tell me all these different things? As Billie Jean said, you're, you're thinking big. I have these pinch myself moments. You know, when I think back to being that little girl who dreamed of being part of sports in some way, and that dream came true. It's been such an incredible journey. I had a lot of support along the way. Through it all, I just kept the belief that it could come true. It's so great. You know, Valerie was so inspiring to talk to, and you can tell just how much she champions her female employees. Just so you know, Gritty was conceptualized and is run by an all-female team. This was before Valerie's time, but she made a point to let us know about the women responsible for his social media presence and personality. And for people out there itching to make their way into that new club arena or that new club area, uh, the Wells Fargo recently, our center recently increased capacity from 15 to 20 percent. So that will allow the Flyers to host about 4,000 fans Ooh. per game. The players really want them there. She wants them there. So slowly but surely, I think we're getting there. We just have to wear a mask, mm -hmm. do all the right things so we can eventually be at 100 percent capacity. Right. Guys. Be patient. We're getting closer. Chanel, you've had so much fun exactly. down there today. Thank you so much. You've been so much fun to watch, too. We've been living with I you know. down Thank there. you, guys. <laughs> like, I want to travel. Uh, and thanks, of course, to our station yeah. in Philadelphia, NBC10 for teaming up with us on our series Reopening America today. And by the way, you can always get your hockey fix right here on NBC. Tune in this Saturday and Sunday for the NHL on NBC.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.